Okay, so I'm back. Now it's time we we have just tested reading the Excel file. I'm going to call all the file again. Okay, so just run all. Make sure they all run. Okay, it takes time. Don't need to run it one by one. I will just try reading this one. Shift Enter. Okay, good. So I can. Go ahead. The first thing first is we are going to define our strategy. So we are going to use the class keyword and define our strategy class. We need to initiate that. So we need to give it a name, right? T name equals T name. And remember that outside the class, I just call it global variables. Okay, so and I define the name here so that we can change outside the class. And it adds more flexibility to our strategy. But in our case, it is a very simple one. So it doesn't matter if we include the attribute inside the class or outside the class. So I just call it MAV because we are using the moving average crossover. Stands for MAV. And we are going to define the long run. So the use of self, just like what I said in previous video, it is the abbreviation to point to the strategy. It is an instance in the class strategy. It's just like when you raise your hand. Raise your hand is just one of the many instances in your life. You raise your hand, you put down your hand. These are the two instances. In your life so that's my analogy and we create the short run which is the short term day we define the long run and short run so I just call long run equals 20 days short run equals five days and you can always change that to whatever days you want and we need to define the condition when ne we need to calculate the moving average just means the df index the index is just like this one 1972 19 1973 it is this data frame index on the table the table here so that it just gives a name to the row so the index has to be more than the self dot long win Okay, hold on, let me just change this one. And I just change it to 18 to 30. Shift enter. Oh, invalid syntax. Oh, I see. <laughs> I'm just getting crazy. <laughs> Sorry. So it has to be DF 18, the 18th row to 30. Shift enter. Let's say if I want to calculate a 20 day average, I have to get at least 20 days, right? That's why I have to start from this row, the 20th row. If I calculate the moving average of the adjusted close, I can't do it on the 18th day because I only have 19 days. The first day is zero. I can show you like because that. the first day is zero so that we need to start from the 19th day uh, okay actually i can just add it to 20 it just doesn't matter actually the first day of trade doesn't do much so this is the condition that we are going to calculate the moving average we also need to define the trade price okay let me talk about the strategy a little bit our strategy is if the short-term moving average of the adjusted close is higher than the long-term moving average of the adjusted close, then we are going to generate a buy signal, which is one. That's the one that will be defined in the signal class. And if the short-term moving average is lower than the long-term moving average, then we are going to sell. The signal will be negative one, but we can buy or sell before the day ends right that's why we are going so let's to say if this one is one 20th day and then i'm going to buy on the day after which is the 21st one let's say if i have a sale signal on the 22nd day then i'm going to sell 
on the 23rd day. So that's why we need to define the trade price to be the data frame, which is DF, the open price. So we need the single quote and open. The open is here. This is the open, the column head. And we are going to define the close price. Sell dot close equals to DF. Instead of using the close price to calculate the moving average, we are going to use the adjusted close because it just takes into account the stock splits, stock dividends, something like that. So this one is ADJ close. Okay, so we are going to calculate the moving average on the add-in formula or something like that, right? So we are going to point the SMAV, the method, back to the class object. Oh, then we need that. <laughs> okay, just a comment that out. And our self.SMAV, this self.SMAV is pointing to the method. SMAV instead of to the strategy. In our short term moving average equals what? Okay, so we have numpy, so we can use the numpy dot where. It just means when we start the strategy class, oops, strategy, which is this one, strategy. And just remember when you quote it inside the class, you have to use the bracket. The strategy dot condition which is this one so i'm just referring to this one self dot condition the condition is what it's when the index is more than the day we start calculating the long-term moving average which is in our case the 20th day so when we start calculating the average we are going to use the strategy dot close because we are calculating based on the close price the strategy close is going to take rolling dot mean the rolling means how many days we are going to roll and in this case we are going to roll the short win right the five days so we need the window equals equals strat the G dot short win. The short win is coming from here. Short run, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just too bad today. So I just need to change this all to win. This just to align. Okay, so short win. Not run, sorry. So it's short win. And then we take the min. So we're calculating the moving average. Otherwise, we have zero. When the condition, which is this one, we need to calculate the moving average. We start calculating the mean of the adjusted close price rolling for the short win, which is five days in this case. So we need to return self.smav in the global variables let me print it so we just define df we just add one more column smav equals strategy but i don't want to type strategy again and again so i just define s equals strategy class so it's s dot SMAV, it is a method. That's why I need the bracket here. And let me press Shift Enter to see what we get. Oops, how come it's wrong? It's wrong since. Oh, sorry. I forgot the space. So this time should you know work. Why programmer takes so long time to develop the strategy? Okay, Shift Enter. So this time should work. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, so let's print df dot tail. Shift enter. So we have the moving average here. Short term moving average. Basically, you can copy this one for the long term moving average. LMAV 
just change to LMAV. The strategy condition doesn't change, still starts at the long term one. But the rolling window has to change. The rolling window is not rolling for five days, not a short win. It's the long win. And we return the LMAV. We are still inside this cell. And we are going to shift enter. Under the global variables, let me add one more column called LMAV equals strategy dot LMAV is a method so i need a bracket shift enter so this time oh you know what typo again this one lmav <laughs> oh too bad shift enter just have a bad we have this lmav so when smav is more than lmav we have a signal one and then for smav lower than lmav we have a signal negative one Let's take a break first.